Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this tutorial, I would like to show you or demonstrate how to use this adoption technique in ANSYS Fluent and how useful it, it is actually in a mesh convergence study. So if you go to this setting up domain and uh, click on adopt, you will see that there are several techniques for adoption. Uh, actually, there are several options for uh, this technique there is boundary gradient iso value region volume and y plus and an anisotropic and uh, each of them has uh, its own description and its own usage but in this tutorial i would like to go back to this very famous uh, uh, bended pipeline that we actually went through it in the first tutorial so if you go back to my channel and go and search for ansys tutorial number one this was the very first one that we did together so this was actually a bended pipeline so you had two inlets with different uh, velocity and temperature for each inlet so the one on the right and the one on the bottom was inlet and there was one at the top with the pressure outlet equal to zero so we did this case together so if I want to do it together again very quickly so I initialize it so everything is already set the boundary conditions the model the method solution and everything is set and if I just run it very quickly for some 300 simulations and hopefully it will converge quite fast uh, the type of solution that we get before adoption and after adoption uh, it's very useful especially in convergence study so let us see uh, how this adoption actually works <clears throat> so you see that the solution before the adoption is done now and if I just go to post processing and make a quick uh, contour plot of uh, temperature for example on the symmetry line uh, you see this typical um, contour plot of temperature that uh, you have already seen it in tutorial number one but I would go to post processing and do the plot and do XY plot and before that I have to mention that I have created a, I have created a line or actually a surface at the outlet just in the symmetry line where Z is actually equal to zero and it's located at the outlet boundary so I have this Z zero outlet so if I want to display it it's just a line here and I would like to plot the pressure or I, uh, the temperature on this uh, very specific line. So I'll go to plot, and do the x y plot, and make it new. And I pick this z uh, z zero outlet, and I pick temperature, static temperature, and I plot it. So you see, this is the temperature that I get on this line, position from four to eight meter. And this is before adoption so if I want to write it to a file and save it so I'll pick this right and for the sake of simplicity I'll go to desktop I create a folder here and I call it uh, plot files and if I double click on that and I call it before adoption and I press OK and the file is now, is now saved. So if I close this one now and I go to setting up domains and adopt and I pick uh, this gradient option. So this gradient, uh, this gradient adoption technique uh, tells me for example if I use uh, temperature, static temperature and the method will do curvature and normalization standard so this one first if I click on compute it will tell me um, the whole range of temperature uh, temperature gradient in my uh, Floyd domain and uh, it's saying actually the minimum value is something like 4.93 uh, uh, to the power um, uh, e minus 32 and the maximum is something like 1.18 uh, it's actually giving the whole range of uh, temperature gradient in my Floyd domain and uh, if I just uh, put this refined threshold of something like 10% of the maximum uh, temperature gradient I have 
it will it will calculate uh, or actually it will adopt the cells that has uh, that has the the temperature gradient more than or greater than 0.1 so if I click on mark now so you see that uh, 1731 cells are marked for refinement and this actually are the cells that has the temperature gradient uh, greater than 0.1 so this is my refinement threshold so these are the the cells that has uh, that has the the temperature gradient greater than 0.1 and less than the maximum value of 0.1.18 uh, <clears throat> so if i go for example to manage and uh, if i want to display them the cells now you'll see the cells uh, that has uh, that has been inside this threshold. Uh, if I want to show it more accurately, I can plot the, the mesh and then click this one and then just display. So you see these are the cells that are between the first inlet, uh, are actually the smaller inlet and the outlet, the pressure outlet. So I'll just click, uh, I think I just closed it, I'll go back to the gradient and then uh, temperature, compute, and then the refined threshold, I'll keep it to 0.1. So this coarsen does not work because this is a 3D geometry and uh, for the 3D geometry, uh, it doesn't really matter if you, if you click on, if you have this coarsen on or off. So I'll uh, click on adopt so that it refine the cells that are within this threshold and I press yes and you see the data or the, the informations are given here. So <clears throat> I'll close this and then if I want to display the mesh so now you see that the the area or uh, the one that were marked in the mesh refinement are actually refined here quite clearly you can see it here very yeah so you can clearly see that these areas are refined now and you have a finer mesh in the area that the adoption threshold has been has worked so if I if I click on uh, run calculation again and run this for another 300 simulations and I press OK so let's see what uh, sort of uh, temperature profile at the outlet we will get this time and we would and we would like to compare it with the one that we had before adoption so it will probably take a little bit longer because now you have uh, more number of cells uh, so the computation computational time will be a little bit bigger and you see the number of iterations are uh, more compared to the previous case because again you have more number of cells all right if I go back to post processing plot XY plot and a new I'll go to temperature static temperature Z0 outlet I press save plot I write it to file and I write it uh, with the name plot files I'll call it after adoption after adoption one and I press OK so if I go to plot and file so now I have something from before so if I add this one the one I had on my desktop and then before adoption and if I change the legend uh, titles to before adoption and I add this second one after adoption
and I change the title to or the legend to after adoption and uh, all right so the legends here are a little bit messy on the top but uh, the red one is actually after adoption one and uh, the white one are actually before adoption so if I continue making adoption again for one more time so I'll go back to adopt and uh, gradient and temperature let's do it for one more time and this time 10% of uh, 0.7 would be 0.07 and I just uh, adopt this time without uh, marking and showing it again and run it for another 300 simulations and uh, after completing this uh, simulation we would like to compare the results again with after adoption to after adoption one and before adoption and see how the solution is actually converging to a unique solution and this will be actually our uh, mesh convergence criteria or mesh convergence study so now you see the solution is much slower you have much more cells to compute and uh, perhaps to fall below the error that we have specified in the in the monitor would take more simulations or more iterations <laughs> So 100, 100 iterations are already passed, but still we are far from the convergence criteria that we have defined. So we'll wait until the simulation is done and the solution is converged. Okay, I think it's already done, it's already converged, so we'll wait for a few more iterations and it's done. So if I go to post-processing plot, XY plot, and I press new, and uh, I'll go to temperature, static temperature, Z0 outlet, and I just plot it, and this time I write to file write it and I call it uh, after adoption 2 I press OK so if I go to plot and the files so you already see that two are already added so I'll uh, add the third one which is called after adoption 2 and I change the legend entries to after adoption 2 I press enter and then I plot the whole thing so here you see the white one is actually before any adoption and then the third one or the second one the red one is actually the one after adoption one and the green one is after adoption two so you see that especially in the beginning uh, in the in the position from four to five the solution for after adoption one and two are very much uh, the same 
and they are actually much closer together especially in the region of between 5 and 6 or 6.5 and they're actually getting closer and closer when you go to the position toward uh, x8 so you see the difference between the solution between the red one and green one and actually the green one and the the white one which is before adoption and without any adoption so if you do this uh, adoption for one more time and uh, do this step again uh, over and again uh, you will see that the solution will finally converge uh, and uh, these dots or these lines are coming on top of each other so i hope you have enjoyed this video you've learned how to use this uh, adoption technique or at least adoption technique uh, using this gradient option uh, i will try to to make some other videos later for boundary iso values or region volume and all other uh, other options that you have in adoption technique Thank you very much for this video, uh, see you later.